I made this video in December 2021. I have been doing vision boards since I was maybe 16 or 17. I am doing one for 2022. I just like to have boards that remind me about my goals throughout the year. And like I said in the video, I like to have attainable goals and then goals that seem so ridiculous or sometimes seem so attainable to me. And then at the end of the year, I'm like, wow, you really thought you were gonna be able to do that, huh? I'm not too confident about the bigger goals, but maybe some of the smaller goals, I've accomplished a few things. I wanted to look back at my goals being that we only have like three more months of this year to see what I still need to achieve. I'm pretty confident in that I need to change my goals. So um, you might have seen this um, vision board that I have up there behind a lot of my videos. So I'm definitely going to update it um, by next vlog. Let's watch the part of the video where I talk about my acting goals and, and see where we are. So for my acting career, um, I want to take a Meisner acting class. I really love that technique. So no Meisner class this year. Uh for a lot of reasons. I would love to take a workshop, like a Meisner workshop, an improv workshop, and a commercial acting. And I wanna get a theatrical LA agent by March 1st of 2021. No. That did not happen. I have been searching and searching for an agent and I did submit to uh, quite a few, but the thing is that I'm trying to submit to a certain level of agents that I think maybe aren't like wanting to get me because I don't have that many credits. I want to change this to by December 31st, 2022. Three referrals to agents by people in the industry, like um, an acting coach or a casting director or something like that somebody in the industry not from a, not a referral from another uh, actor i i'm confident at least one person right now that could refer me to an agent in la so i'm gonna keep that i still need two more professional referrals but i definitely have one in mind i want to be in a tv uh in a film uh that requires skating i'm not good enough yet at skating I don't believe but I am skating every day as of filming this video I have been skating for 14 days in a row and I've been going to rhythm skate classes so I am confident that I will be a much better dancer in like a rhythm skater in like a month or so what I'm going to do is add to create a skating reel in September so that I can have a reel and show people what I can do so far um, on my casting websites and then as I get better like in October I'll make one November and then that way maybe I'll be a lot better by December and I can actually get cast in something um, where I skate. And then I also want to be in a film or TV show that requires for me to speak Spanish. I did do a commercial for Covered California earlier this year. Recientemente me inscribí. ¿Tuviste un bebé o adoptaste un niño? In Spanish. So I did that. I would love though to do something um, theatrical, but it's not absolutely necessary. Like we only have three months, you know? Like if something in Spanish comes up, cool. If not, next year. And I want to produce three shorts. Oh, I forgot, honestly, that I put produce three short films. What I meant by that, I should have been a little bit more specific, but what I meant by that was like create three short films where I act in. I do still want to do two more after this. The one we're working on currently, we did a crowdfunding campaign. We have $10,000 to do it. But the other two, I just want to do them low key. Like I just want to like get them done. And something else I want to uh, add is I want to get cast in a Christmas something. Every year I audition for a Christmas thing. And I would love to be in a Christmas commercial, a Christmas short, whatever. The other two shorts that I wanted to produce this year as my goal, one of them's going to be skating and the other one's going to be Christmas. That way, if nobody casts me, I cast me. <laughs> and then three co-star roles hasn't happened <laughs> and i do feel that i need um an agent in la to be able to get me more opportunities because this year i've auditioned for one co-star role so far so that goes hand in hand i believe with the uh the agent one i'm gonna leave that there 
miracles can happen and also I'm very enthusiastic about goals. Look up different shows and different people that I like their work and put their names on my vision board because I want to work with them. Okay, I've definitely been doing that. I have been doing a lot of industry research and I do have a spreadsheet with showrunners that I like their shows and I want to work with in the future. I want to book 20 jobs and make $70,000 after taxes in 2022 total. See, I told you some of my goals are a little out there. I've, I've booked five jobs and I am nowhere close to $70,000 after taxes. Let's just have $70,000 after taxes. That would be nice. Earned from YouTube, acting, day jobs, anything. Um, oh, and that's all. Those are all my, my acting related goals. I also have YouTube goals, um, basically like have fun and make more money off of YouTube because I like it and how cool would it be if I made more money from YouTube? Well, you know what? It's, it's okay. <laughs> I don't feel like a complete failure because I do feel like this year more than ever, I've really been taking um, advantage of the time and the resources that I have and working really hard to make sure that I am always working and focus like this actor routine that I've had I don't know for like a couple of months now has really helped me to get better at acting and practice acting consistently and do YouTube and share information and make connections so I feel really proud of myself regardless of, of if I end up doing all of these goals but I am going to update my vision board and I'll show it to you guys next Saturday next week's vlog and um, let's see what we can do. If you're a casting director, if you're creative in LA or in the South Bay, in the San Francisco Bay area, let me know, maybe we can do something together. I'm interested in first gen Latinx stories, skating stories, uh, Christmas stories. That all sounds really fun to me. Go ahead and just leave a comment and then we can connect and see if it'll be good to work together. Probably not with everybody, but um, we'll all find somebody to work with. If you're a casting director, let me know. I'd love to audition for you. If you're an agent, manager, let's talk. But we need to do our actor check-in. If you've never seen one of my Saturday vlogs, I like to use you guys as accountability buddies in my comments on Saturdays to make sure that we're all on track, work on acting stuff throughout the week, and then check in. Um, Devin, Julian, Patty, um, Henry, you guys are some of the people that have commented before what you did this week so let me know in the pinned comment what you did to level up your acting or just something that you incorporated this week in your habits um some of my habits are memorizing scene study industry slash agent research and i've added skating and then this week i added gratitude as well so i did really good you guys so i memorized five times this week i did scene study slash um, was a reader four times, which was mostly scene study because I had to do the Yaku Sabes and castability. And then I did industry research slash agent research three times this week. And I skated eight times this week and I did gratitude five times. I was just feeling down and I thought maybe looking at my goals would be fun to to reorient. We still have three months left. Like that's that's a decent amount of time. It's gonna go by really fast because I am traveling and then the holidays and camping, but it's all fun things. I'm I'm really excited and enthusiastic. I'm so happy right now. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos, especially if you're over here at the end of the video. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's like nobody here right now. Viva el chisme. I hope you guys submitted to the Ya Tu Sabes uh, monologue slam if you're Latinx over 18, if not in the future. If not, there's more opportunities for all kinds of people. I have tons of videos on how to find auditions and open casting calls and stuff like that. So you guys can check those out here. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. Who am I featuring today? I'm gonna feature Dav again, Active Poet. You guys, he's so talented. He needs to go viral. Like this song, I keep talking about close friends, but it's a really good song. So go check him out if you want.